I feel like we keep bumping into each other on the same days of the week. And I'm not sure what's going on there. If you guys are stalking me or something. But if you are going to stalk me, then hey, consider pressing that subscribe button and the notification button so you won't miss out on any future videos. But in today's video, since you're here, I might as well talk about it, right? Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the new scents from Copper John's. Hello, my name is Mo. I am the Bearded Shark. And we're not going to be talking about feeling beard or anything like that because I've already reviewed Copper John's and I do love Copper John's. It's no secret. So we're just going to talk about the new two scents here. So if guys... If you have not heard of the two new scents from Copper John's, we do have Fowler right here. And then we also have Urban Bayou. Now this is a new scent on the Gray Beard series and then we have on the regular line. Now these are two different scent profiles than anything that Copper John's has ever done. And we'll get to that in a minute. But also just a quick reminder, if you guys do plan on purchasing anything from Copper John's, do consider using the code SHARK15. It saves you 15% off your future orders, any orders really. Um, he usually does some discounts, some cool discounts with it, like buy one, get one free, or sometimes SHARK15 equals 25% off. So just jot down that code. So for future purchases, you have a code in handy that you can use and save some money. All right, guys, so let's talk about the two new scents. Now, we'll talk. We'll start off with the first one. This one's called Fowler. Now, again, this is a collaboration between Copper Johns and Zachary Fowler, which I would say he's a outdoorsy survival enthusiast. Or um, He's got a YouTube channel, so you can check it out. I've never watched it before, but I've, I've heard a lot of things about him. Seems like a cool cat. This is for the outdoorsy people, okay? So this is gonna be cedarwood and white fur. So if you like to be outdoors, if you like hunting, or if you just like doing outdoorsy stuff and you just wanna smell like mother nature, um, this scent is for you, okay? So right off the bat, you're gonna get woodsy and like spiciness and then you just get like just very very earthy that's what you get out of this so you definitely get that white fur and then you get the cedar wood um right afterwards but i also get and i'm not sure what it is it may be just from the ingredients which i asked tyson and he was like that's crazy um but i get like a little bit of a a tangerine scent out of it so i get like an orangey scent too but there's no warming this up and it's going to smell anything at all different than what you smell in bottle. So this is white fur and cedar wood. Very woodsy, very outdoorsy. Um, you know, obviously, you know me, I like more of the cologne and, and the, hey, let me smell good. But this is good for if you want to smell like the outdoors. If you're not trying to attract any kind of attention while you're out there, like if you're hunting or, you know, something around that nature. If you just want to smell like outdoors and definitely check out Fowler's from Copper John's. Um, this scent right here lasted a good about, I would say about four hours in beard. So it didn't last long. Um, it's not strong at all. So you're not going to be getting like, oh my God, he smells good. Well, some people might be attracted to it, but this is more like, okay, I'm in the woods. I'm trying to not attract other animals, but I want to take care of my beard and I really don't want to wear unscented or, Hey, I missed being out in the woods. I missed camping or I missed hiking and I just want to smell like the outdoors. Yeah. This is exactly what this is right here. The next scent profile that we're going to talk about is going to be called bourbon Bayou. Now this one right here, guys, it has a lot in there. Just an FYI. Um, so the scent profile that you're going to get from this is going to be um, a little bit of Nag Chapa, smoke, sweet orange, cedar wood, honey, bourbon, and tobacco, which this right here in bottle smells completely different than it does in beard. Um, in bottle, just smelling, I get like a little bit of like oranges and then I get like spiciness and then just like a little bit of tobacco. But then in beard, that's when it kind of just opens up, that honey opens up. But then also you get like the tobacco. The tobacco is strong in beard, but it's not like overwhelming. I actually enjoy the scent because it changes. Like some days I wear it, I'm like, oh, I smell more honey. Then other days I wear it, I'm like, oh, this is like a tobacco and orange scent. I don't know what Nag Chapa smells like, so I couldn't tell you. Maybe it's earthy. Maybe it's uh, like a smoky or spiciness. Um, but I do know that I get like different scents on this. So with this, 
I would say it lasted a good six, seven hours in beard. Um, this is a good scent. I do like it. Um, if you like the earthy spiciness, you know, smoky tobacco, I don't get a lot of smokiness in this, so it's not like going to be like campfire smoke, but it does smell good. And it is something that I like wearing like at nighttime or daytime. This isn't going to be like a scent profile that you would want to wear like at a date night or something like that. But if you want something that's going to smell good and it's just isn't like cologne or something around that nature, then yeah, check out the Bourbon Bayou. Um, it is different from anything else that I've smelt. And also these two right here, like I stated, they're completely different scent profiles from anything that Copper Johns has done in the past. Overall, if you want to smell like an outdoorsy survivalist, like, hey, I'm going to survive off of eating 63 fish and four birds, hey, get you some of this Fowler oil right here, guys. If you want to smell like the city of New Orleans, this is what I'm assuming it smells like, or if you're like, hey, going to play some cornhole with the guys, um, this would be a good scent also to wear. So not a cologne, it's not gonna have like no musk, it's nothing like that. They're just two different completely scent profiles and check them out if they seem like there's something that you'd be interested in. Again, you can use code SHARK15 and it saves you 15% off. Don't forget about the other stuff that he has as well. So I like Lake Town and you also have um, Nightfall. There's just a lot of scents that he has that are really good, Polly's, Skipper. Um, two different oils, you can get the regular oil, which is this one right here. And then also you can get the gray beard oil. So if you have a more of a gray beard, but I don't have that much of a gray beard. If you say something, I will block you. But um, so they're both great uh, feeling beards. So you can't really go wrong with it. The wash is amazing. So if you have not checked out Copper John's wash, really need to check out that wash. I'm telling you, check out that wash. Bar of soap is amazing too. So he's got a he's a great one-stop shop company that um very reasonable. So if you want to go with the regular oil right here, um this one is um $21.95. So this one is a little bit higher than his regular $19.95. And then I'm assuming it's because uh, it's from the conifer essential oils that's are in here. Or you can go with the gray beard series, which is uh, $21.95 as well. But if you bought something off the regular line that's not the Fowlers, it's typically about $19.95 before my discount. So that's it, guys. I wanted to share these two cents with you. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. Copper Johns does have a YouTube channel, so I will link his um, YouTube channel in the description below so you guys can check it out. He goes live on Saturdays at 6 p.m. Eastern. He's usually doing some crazy deals. He's got some amazing people that go on the show with him. He interviews. And you never know what he's going to do. He may show up eating like a uh, oatmeal cream pie, or he may show up one day just making oil to survive in the woods. So that's it, guys. I will see you on the next video. And as always, stay bearded. Duh.